that guy Mike's in the trinket aisle. I'm getting claustrophobic to be honest with you. Okay. I I just had to walk away from it all. Hi guys, it's Julie with One Way Vintage. It's thrifting day and I have a chauffeur with me today. <laughs> I'm gonna take that guy Mike to a newer Goodwill that I found. Um, and I would like to call it Trinket Paradise. The last time I was there, they had so many things and Mike likes a lot of things. So I wanna show it to him, see if it's as good as the last time. All sounds, right. That sounds funny. By the way, Mike and I had a really fun morning doing something that we've never been asked to do before, and that is interview for a YouTube channel called Consignment Chats. They also do a podcast. If you haven't checked out Samantha, Libby, and Molly, they are awesome ladies, and we had fun meeting them at a couple different uh, reseller events. And of course, Mike does something really weird at the end of it, so be sure to check out Consignment chats, we'll link it in the description below. So let's go. It's a Goodwill in Santa Ana. You can't take that guy Mike to Santa Ana without stopping at a place called Baja Fish. Carne asada platter. And Baja Fish. Yeah. And you know it's good when you have the the cops in the corner, right? Good place. <laughs> and it's a good place. Can we please go thrifting now? Yeah, we'll go through trying to shove it in my face. It's impossible. <laughs> we finally made it to the Goodwill in Santa Ana. Let's go in and see what we can find to flip for a profit. Thank you. I see today's color is yellow. Don't you think this Goodwill is just like, it's cute. It's a nice one. They even have cute two-tiered carts and a cute guy. I know Coca-Cola is like a really saturated thing, but isn't that cute tin? I think it's not antique. I think it's a modern reproduction. And the music's really loud in here. This is gonna be a little tough. An avocado trinket. Is that broken? No, it's not broken. I think it's like a, oh, it's like an avocado serving dish, I think, maybe. This is so cute. Look at this toy box. It doesn't close, it stays open. Must be a music box. Let's see. I'm gonna have to keep talking. The music is so loud. I don't wanna get a copyright strike, but it's got a little Tom Sawyer book in there, a little soldiers, a little spinning top. That's so cute. Yeah, that's adorable. I might have to look this up. That guy Mike took off with the cart. So I found this really cute teapot with a miniature tea set on top. Mike, it's got the I world. I show you the world. Can you put this in the cart? It's an Inesco. And look at the spinning top. Put this, what is, let's see who makes this. Vienna Woods. Man, M-A-N-N, -N, I can't see the rest. I may have to look that up as well, because that's pretty cute. I'm sure that will, that could probably clean up pretty good. How about this in the cart as well? You've seen chip in a bottle? How about a gondola in the bottle? Unfortunately, this one is all broken. It's sad. I found half a taco, and let's see, I don't know, I found these blue ribbon geese, and what else did I see? This is like a made in China piece. I saw this owl, I'm pretty sure it's, you know, it's like fake crazy made to look old. He was there. I recognize this. This is one of those carolers. I'm gonna look him up. 
I know these can bring some money. Looks like it's in decent shape. Have you seen these carolers before? Very distinct faces that they have. I also found this little pomander. This is Taylor of London. A little English piece there. And I do like that. And it's only $1.99. This little owl is so cute. This is a this is a piggy bank owl. I do like that. No markings. How much are they asking? There's this little $3.99. Okay, I'm gonna have a think on that one as well. Without my cart, I'm having trouble here. Not vintage, but cute little giraffe ring holder. Originally from Kohl's, $26 on that. That's hard to believe. And this probably looks really cool when it's lit up. Wien? Wien. Hm. I thought it was a Christmas scene, but no, I think it's something else. I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking at. I'm squished right now. I also just found this little piece here. It's got some like Asian looking markings there. And looks super old. Little hobbyist piece maybe. No. Uh oh, coming back with a full cart. Can you take my owl? My giraffe. I'm getting squished out of the trinket aisle. Claust getting claustrophobic, to be honest with you. Okay. Oh, have you seen these carolers? <laughs> All right, I'll see what you got later. Oh, and then this, this little guy. That's a wine stopper. <sighs> I'm back to the end caps. It was, I, I literally couldn't move in that aisle getting squished out and kids were stealing my things um this is cute i've seen these fruit thingies and they do pretty well but i've never actually sold one and this is like a miniature size fruit one mike hold my fruits thank you i was looking at this little bunny salt and pepper set here and here's this guy you know he's probably pepper he's got three holes but look at this I mean, call me crazy, but there's his fill area, and his eyes are not the holes, so where does it come out? Checking the butt. <laughs> no, no hole. So it's a, a salt and a figurine, or a pepper and a figurine. I might even rescue him. I've got a bunch of baby boys. I don't know if those are cheap or vintage. <laughs> I don't know what I would do with 40 baby boys. And you really gotta search today. This is like a little cobalt blue anchor hawking creamer. If I find the sugar, that'd be cool. But I don't think just the creamer is gonna do so good. But I do love the color. That guy Mike's in the trinket aisle. Okay. I I just had to walk away from it all. I'm I'm not happy right now. I'm it's Tuesday morning, afternoon actually, and um Everyone's here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm, I, I can't handle how loud the music is. Uh, stand by. Before the next song starts, I just wanted to say that not, not loving my shopping trip today, crowded, loud music, um, getting squished out, and um, just when I thought I can't take it anymore, the nicest lady walked up to me and started talking to me about my little bunny salt and pepper shakers and telling me about her white bunny Peter that she has at home and just pulled me back to a calmer place so I, I I'm done in the trinket aisle I'm gonna take that guy Mike to a newer Goodwill that I found um, and I would like to call it trinket paradise some days are better than others in the trinket aisle there's a there's a there's a bug there um, so I'm just waiting for that guy Mike and we'll talk about what's in the cart and um, get out of here. Mike found some caroling Christmas bills worth about 
$45 and Brass Eagle uh, worth about $60. This is actually a vintage Inesco Precious Moments toy box, but unfortunately it's missing the Precious Moments doll, broken handle, teacup. So that's sadly going back. I did not love that shopping trip. I'm sorry to say that guy. <laughs> These are some bougie people. Yeah, and it's hot and my air conditioner stopped working in my van, so we need to make thousands of dollars, okay? Support the cause. Support Subscribe, the please. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> but stay tuned, there's more. That guy Mike said he's taking me to Ecotown. Okay, he didn't say that, but can Thanks we go to Ecotown? Okay, we can go to Ecotown. All right, let's go to Ecotown. Okay, I gotta go to the bathroom town. No, no going to the bathroom when thrifting. You cannot, you cannot thrift and poop. You gotta go home for that. We're still in Santa Ana at Ecotown. It is weird weather. It's hot for us. It's pretty windy and hot, but we're still in Santa Ana going into Ecotown, hoping they have some air conditioning because the last one did not have enough. Let's see if we can find anything cool in here. This is usually overpriced, but we'll see. Okay, I just found a Matryoshka doll set. Kitty cats, five piece. Do I take the little tag? Take the tag, okay. You'll take it? Yeah. And then I'm gonna look at the, this is a Harry Potter mirror. Harry Potter, and it's only $40. I wonder how much Harry Potter mirrors go for. Oh, goodness. Harry Potter for 40 is worth 29 to $40. Leave it at that. That hippo really cracks me up, you know? It is fun to come to Ecotown because they have cool things, pretty little things, and it's all, you know, priced higher because they don't, I mean, they take donations, but you can also sell your items to Ecotown, so they have to price it up so they can make money, which is fine, but I do usually buy something out of the glass case when I'm here. I've bought and sold Murano clowns from here before. You remember that, Mike? Yeah. Bought them for $25 each, sold them for about $400, so I will always come here to check the cases and just look at their cool things. It's an awesome plate there like Inca or something but it's $35 with a security key tag on it <laughs> so anyway I do occasionally check the cases but that's it these are interesting little guys in here <laughs> little little critters wow you might have to see what they have priced on this little piggy that's a cute little piggy. That's a five dollar little piggy. Cute. Oh, yeah. it's hard to reach. Mike's checking prices for me. That deer is five. I think they're probably all five. Okay, I see. I see three on the carved donkey. I see five on that one. So, if they were like two bucks each, I might pick up a few little guys, but. Not for five. Okay, Mike just noticed that the pig has some holes. He's like a little salt. A little salty so. pig. Well, it changes it my mind a little bit. Well, how do you put it in? Oh, maybe he's not. No, those are his eyes. Oh, I'm not even on it. Okay, no, those aren't holes. Those are his, those are his little pig eyes. Weird. Yeah, I think. <laughs> it's cute. I've never seen one of these Oppenheimer Mr. Christmas music boxes. Can you grab it? Can you grab it? I know. I just wanted to see it. How is it? How is it working and it's not plugged in? Is it something else making noise? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's haunted. Hmm. It has all these different songs you can play. Mm. Oh, that's so cool. I'm gonna look up the value of this just out of curiosity. So 
on eBay. Someone took a best offer under $32 and it sold as high as $100, but there's several sold at $40, $50. So looks like Eagle Town takes the highest sold price and puts a tag on it. Look, this is a ribbon writer. Not sure if that's, I don't know, $80. Here's something worth looking up. It's Polly's Place. This is a very recognizable blue sky item. So I just got a blue sky um, Halloween house, which was good value. So I'm gonna look up Polly's Place. Okay, they only put $12 on this and I know why. They probably couldn't find an eBay comp. I could not either. There are about three or four asking $99 to $120 so because I know some of my buyers on whatnot love birds and also because I have a, a um, boutique or a, a booth space that I could put this in I think I'll pick it up for $12 it's super cute in perfect condition hey here's the big version of the small version that I got earlier today and they're asking 12 again, which not a bad price, but I'll stick with the small ones. Okay, they got me. They always get me here at the Eco Town. Hopefully I can do okay on those matryoshkas. I'm thinking I can double my money. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. And then maybe on the little birdhouse thingy, double my money. Everything's just double my money here. Okay. Sorry, this is a weird shot. <laughs> so. Because I'm in it. <laughs> at onewayvintageoc at gmail.com. Of course, if you're in the Las Vegas area, visit our booth at the Good Stuff Thrift Store, spaces 2 and 16. And if you're new or visiting again, please subscribe. It means so much to us. And as always, stay tuned for blue at the end of every video. The way you make me feel is crazy. How did you get so fly? You got me like, my, my, my.